Yeah, let's do this. This short video is just about how to add videos to our website. Okay, what I have here is just a usual HTML web template. But we have the HTML head and body elements. And of course, within the head elements, I have also included a link tag which links our CSS to the HTML. Okay, let me zoom in so that you guys can see a bit more clearly. Right, let's get started um to add videos to our website there is what we call the video element the video element has an opening and closing tag and it goes this way this is it the video element in here it has a source attribute just the way the image tag has a source attribute that is used to specify the roots or the location of the image that we insert into websites this applies similarly here the location or source of the video we intend to use on our website is specified here using the url or path so let's go dot slash okay there's a folder called videos and i'm going to be using this swing.mp4 video all right let you see the enter key then let's go to our web page this will have on our web page so on our web page right now what do you see a video or a picture well i specified a video an mp4 actually but it doesn't quite look like a video right now it, it's it's more like a, a picture graphics it's still let's head on back to our code editor to finish what we just started Okay, in order for that video to play, we need to specify an attribute called controls. Let's go back to our web page. What do you notice? Now we have the play button at the center of the video. We also have a play button and some controls down here. Okay, the duration of the video is specified the sound icon the speaker icon and stuff like that so if you hit the play button right now you see the video plays you've just added a video to a web page that can be played and posts notice that in this instance you have to hit the play button for the video to play what if we want a setting where in which case, we want the video to automatically play as soon as the web page loads without us having to click the play button. Let's go over to our HTML to get that done. In that case, we'll remove the controls attribute, which is a way to manually play the videos, and then introduce an autoplay attribute over to our web browser. See, the video plays automatically. I didn't have to hit any play button. In fact, there's no play button to hit. In this case, the video plays through its entire duration and stops. What if we want an instance, we don't want the video to stop. It should just keep playing over and over again. Back to our HTML code. We introduce an attribute called loop. The loop attribute ensures that when the video plays to the end, it automatically starts all over again. This is a cool feature if you want to design websites with video backgrounds that ought to play infinitely. Okay, so those are the attributes you need to take note of. We talked about the first of all, we talked about the controls attribute and then the autoplay attribute. And finally, the loop attribute. There's also a muted attribute, in which case, if the video has some kind of sound, it definitely would be muted, to play muted, all right, in that case, if we don't want the sound to be audible on the website. All right, so this is how you get to add a video to your web page or your website. It's simple, we didn't do anything about CSS. Everything we did here was HTML using the video element and all its associated attributes. That was pretty simple, right? Good. Over to you now. Let's see how you get yours done. Adding a video to a website.